Core Scientific to hand crypto mining rigs to NYDIG to extinguish $38.6 million in debt. NYDIG had previously said it would object to a $70 million life loan for Core if its own deal wasn't finalized. Core Scientific will hand over about 18% of its crypto mining rigs, or 27,403 machines, to lender NYDIG in exchange for extinguishing $38.6 million in debt, according to a February 2nd filing with the Bankruptcy Court for the Southern District of Texas. Core, which as, uh, as of the end of December 22, operated 153,000 machines for its self-mining operations filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection late, late last year. The NYDIG deal has yet to be approved by the bankruptcy court judge. The bear market in crypto has taken a toll on the mining industry, particularly on leveraged firms, as high energy prices coupled with a low Bitcoin price have led to consolidation and capitulation. So my like I go back to this, which is my argument here would be if we're going to go into a situation where Bitcoin hits forty five thousand dollars by the end of the year, that is purely due to the price to mint a Bitcoin will be forty five thousand dollars. In which case, we're really still basing it off of energy and we haven't broken the halving cycle, right? Uh, and that's what I would postulate. If you had any hope of hitting 45,000, and then really like, we kind of go back into this. I, I asked this question on Twitter, right? Because like a lot of people that are like bullish on Bitcoin that are... Uh, it, it's very odd. I, I always ask this, like, why are all the Bitcoin maxis buying Bitcoin and not buying miners, right? It's very odd. Welcome to the stream, DJ Minds. Make sure you guys go follow and subscribe to DJ Minds. There you go. But I always have this question, and it really comes down to, I think, an unpredictable energy market, right? If you look at it completely objectively, there is always a risk that you run, I suppose, at, if you're, if you're, if you're mining at scale, right? You always, you always have like basically energy as your number one risk factor, right? Because once you mine at scale, like if you are sure mining, okay. So if you're like mining, like on your farm and you have a little solar and you're like, oh, I got solar. I don't have to worry. That's fine. I'm talking about at scale. We're talking about the big boys when they have to be connected to the grid to a certain extent. Then they have certain regulations that are impending on them, which is usually like once you get over a certain amount of megawatts, that's going to be the factor that we get into, which is where then we get into the biggest risk for a lot of these large mining firms is the unpredictability or of the energy market, right? Okay. So the bear market in crypto has taken a toll. We got into that and here we go. So the agreement will bring substantial benefits because the value of the machines, and this is for borrowing the 77 million from New York dig to buy mining equipment, but essentially stop paying off the loan since the end of the third quarter, the agreement will bring substantial benefits because the value of the machines is lower than the outstanding principal and the machines are no longer needed for its operations. Core said in the filing, prices for Bitcoin mining rigs have dropped about 85% in the last year, according to data from Luxor Technologies. On January 31st, Core agreed to borrow $70 million from the investment bank B. Riley. On February 1st, NYDIG filed a reservation of rights letter with the court saying it might object to the financing if CORE didn't finalize an agreement over its own debt. The lender has previously argued that it isn't well protected against the diminution. I actually don't know this word, so let's go look at this up. I don't even know if I said that right. Diminution. Reduction. Okay, cool. Diminution. Diminution. There we go. Diminution of the value of the machines under the post-bankruptcy financing agreements. About 60% of the machines posted as collateral for NYDIG loans are Bitmain Antminer S19s, an older model, whereas around the rest uh, are newer Antminer S19J Pros. Earlier in 2023, Core moved to reject its hosting contracts with Celsius Mining, which is also bankrupt. 
Established in 2017, OctoMiner is an international mining hardware company. They manufacture and engineer the best mining equipment in the industry and supply rigs to some of the largest mining farms around the world. Their GPU mining rigs also integrate with the top crypto operating systems like HiveOS, MinerStat, and Simple Mining. All parts come with an international one-year warranty. Exciting news! They will be adding ASIC miners for sale to their website soon and launching a new product built specifically for ASIC home miners. Please visit octominer.com or email support at octominer.com for questions. And more debt restructuring, except in a different manner, comes from Terra Wolf. Obviously, what we're seeing, of course, is a bunch of restructuring. MA, obviously. You know, mergers, acquisitions, complete bankruptcies, all this stuff is going to go on in the mining industry until uh, pretty much until the next halving, right? Once once all the mergers and acquisitions and bankruptcies, et cetera, have been, you know, finalized, I think once that happens is where we'll start to see the market really stabilize before we get into the next bull run. That would be how I would see it, right? A slew of mining firms have restructured their debt loads while others are facing bankruptcy. TerraWolf is the latest Bitcoin miner to restructure its debt obligations in order to stave off negative cash flow. Miners such as BitFarms and Green Ridge Generation have paid down or restructured their debt as the bear market, coupled with high energy prices over the last few months, have taken a toll on the industry. Some of those that haven't been able to restructure have started Chapter 11 bankruptcy procedures, sold assets, or faced margin calls. Obviously, uh, not dissimilar to like what is happening with Core, core Scientific. Civic, the <laughs> Core Scientific. Under the restructuring signed on January 27th, amortization of the term loan will be replaced with a free cash flow sweep mechanism through April of 2024. According to a Wednesday press release. Terra Wolf will also be able to extend the maturity date of its term loan to April 2024, as long as it manages to raise an undisclosed requisite amount of equity proceeds by March 15, 2023. On Wednesday, the mining firm announced a public offering of common stock, which it priced calling for gross proceeds of $25 million. The offering is expected to close on or about February 6th, subject to customary closing conditions. At the end of the third quarter of 2022, TerraWolf had $138.5 million of principal outstanding on the term loan. Its biggest mining facility is a 60-megawatt site in New York. TerraWolf stock was down about 32% on Wednesday as of the time of writing. TerraWolf is one of the most indebted publicly listed miners, according to data analyzed by Coindesk in June. The miners' cash reserves are running low in the third quarter. TerraWolf has also raised $6.75 million in equity in the past several months. The two co-founders, Chief Executive Officer Paul Prager and Chief Operating Officer Nazar Khan, bought $2.5 million in TerraWolf stocks for $1.05 per share in a private repla- or private placement, adding to the $15 million they have already invested in the company. They have also received approximately $4.25 million in proceeds from the exercise of a certain private placement warrants issued in December of 2022, according to the press release. So, Obviously, with the restructuring of the debt, they're hoping to stay alive. You know, if they're already this bad on the books, though, I wouldn't expect them to be able to fully pull this off. But, you know, it'll be impressive if they do, especially with the stock declining by 32 percent. But, you know, respect where respect is due. They are putting their money where their mouth is, meaning you do have the CEO and the COO personally staked into this by purchasing and buying up their stock. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.